Simple question. What's the biggest holdup right now? Uh, it's the uh, CBT thresholds, the collective uh, balance tax. What does that it's, mean? Uh, it, so the, it's basically a threshold um, that gives the if teams approach the threshold when it comes to spending money on on players, um, that if they go above it, they get taxed uh, on the threshold. And so for as a players association, as a union, we feel that um, if the number's higher, um, that gives more teams the ability to spend more money um, without being penalized. Uh, I, the, the easiest example I can give is that if, if a team – say there's 15 teams that are actively out there spending money and, and uh, trying to make their team better that way. Um, hopefully we can get it to 20. Uh, and by raising that number, we feel that there are more teams that have the ability to spend money on players um, only as opposed to spend money on players and, uh, and pay the penalties on the, on the, on the back end. So hopefully we can uh, get that thing moved up and uh, get some more money spent on players. All right, two things. One, is that the luxury tax that people have always talked about? And two, how far apart are the two sides? Uh, that is the luxury tax uh, that, that, that you're hearing and that you're seeing out there. Um, we're in, in the last few days, we've, gro- uh, we've grown closer, uh, I would say. Uh, the, the, the number that seems to be a little bit further apart um, is the percentage of growth uh, that the players feel uh, is necessary to add into that number. So if uh, if the number starts at roughly 235 um, and and we want it to incrementally grow by uh, at least $5 million, so in, in a five-year period, get that up to, to 250, 255, uh, the league doesn't feel like it needs to grow that high. Uh, so the overall number, uh, the, the threshold number, we're getting closer. It's the growth period or the growth that we're – uh, a little bit far apart, but uh, I'm optimistic. We had a good call yesterday. Um, the the, me- the the lawyers from both sides had a good meeting yesterday, so hopefully we can uh, get close to something here uh, relatively soon. Let, let me go to that because Carl Ravage, who doesn't really spout off a whole lot, a, a day or day and a half ago, maybe two days, I guess, put out that he's not going to be surprised if the season gets canceled. I saw that and I thought, God dang, what are we talking about? But you feel different, right? You feel like it's, it's starting to, the gap starting to close. You know, I, I, I couldn't uh, differ more in, in, in my opinion uh, than he, do, than he does. Um, I, I think that both sides understands and knows what the, what damage, first of all, I think that we're doing to the game now uh, from from a fan standpoint, even missing uh, six or seven games, but but missing a full season, I think, uh, to be quite honest, is asinine to even think that that could be a possibility. I, I think that we, as a players union, and I think the ownership kind of echoes the same thing that we need baseball that that uh, the game can't withstand a full season missed, uh, especially I mean coming off the heels of the 2020 season. Um, I think we we have to play baseball. I think both sides know that, and like I said, I think we're we're getting closer uh, than we are growing further apart, in my opinion. When, when you look at, I, you know, fans saw a bunch of ancillary stuff. So let me let me ask you about it. Um, bigger bases, DH in both leagues, no shifts. Uh, what was the other one? 14-second um, clock when nobody is on, 19-second when a player is on. Where, where does all this stuff fit in that fans are seeing and going, oh, okay, they're close? I, I would- would be I would be blatantly honest and say that I feel like if we can agree, both sides can agree on a CBT number, uh, that everything else is going to take care of itself. Uh, I really do. I think that's the biggest that's the biggest hang up on both sides, and it, and, and I don't think it's. I mean, there may be one or two other things that are that are close to that, but I think with a an agreement on a CBT, I think that we will be very inclined. Both sides will be to to figure those other things out in a very short order. I think that once you see an agreement on a CBT, uh, whenever that comes, I think it'll be very quickly after that, that the entire deal itself will be finished. 